Alright guys, how are you? Welcome back to our calculus 2 classes. We still in trig substitution. Uh, today I will give you a shortcut for the first rule. When we have square root of 3 minus x squared, 4 minus 5 x squared, as long as we have x squared is negative. Let us see what we have today. I will go over the last problem we did. Uh, then we still in techniques of integration, trigonometric substitution, class 7. If you like, just subscribe us. If you like, just subscribe us. And let us start. I'm going to go back to the first problem I did, the last problem I did last time. Which is this problem. Just review it quick. Uh, look here. Integration from point zero six zero to point x squared over nine minus twenty five x squared. My substitution was, you remember the rule of substitution, which is a over b sine theta. Good. Then a is three because square root of nine is three. Square root of 25 is 5, then 3 over 5 sine theta, then dx equals 3 over 5 cosine theta d theta. And we have what a, what b. a is square root of 9 and b square root of 5. Then you plug everything into the function. 3 over 5 sine theta square. 9 minus 25, 3 fives, everything is the same, and dx3 over 5 cosine theta. Good. Now start. You see I left my limits empty. At the end I'm going to use it. Now here 2 over 9 over 25 sine squared theta. And here when you square this 3 squared 9 over 25, 25 cancel 25. Okay. Then one, you cancel it. Then left sine squared theta. Okay. In this case, there is no shortcut to solve the problem. Now here, sine squared theta, 9. He took 9 as a GCF. 1 minus sine squared theta. 1 minus sine squared theta is what? Well, guys, 1 nine minus square theta is cosine squared theta. Alright? Okay. I think this is a good review for you now. Uh, I, in, the, in the side here, look here what I did. I told you the 9 is here is 9. 1 minus sine square cosine square. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of cosine square theta is cosine theta. Now I have sine square theta and cosine theta cancel with cosine theta. Now what I have to know, now I have this my integration. This is my integration. This is my guy, the one I need to integrate. Now it comes to calculus one integration. The only thing you have to know the sine square equal half minus half cosine two theta equal half minus uh, let us go to. Half minus half here. Half minus half cosine two theta. Now, okay. I, the, the last video stopped at this point. The last video stopped at this point. The last video. Uh, if you watch the video before this video, you will see that I stopped. I don't know for something wrong, heaven. And I upload the last video. Now I will finish it from here. I don't know, I cannot see this in my old video. Start from here because, okay. Now, look guys, sine square theta equals sine one half minus half percent. Two. I need you to memorize it. I need you to memorize this. I need you to memorize that 
sine square theta equal half minus, which is here. Look here, this one. Now all of us good in 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 one, all of us good in integration. Uh, I took the half out. You see the half, half from here and from here. Nine times one, 250, nine, 250. And integration of theta, which is theta, and integration of cosine two theta is what? You gotta follow me, guys. Integration of cosine two theta is sine two theta over what? Two. Right? Good. Perfect. Now, I need to bring back the theta and the sine in terms of two x. What I need to know also, you see sine 2 theta, sine 2 theta equal what? Follow it, I want to hear it. 2 sine theta, cosine theta. Okay, 2 sine theta, cosine what? I did a lot of classes called trig, trigonometric function identities, I mean. If you feel you need to go back to these type of problems, please go back to these tricks, identities, and that will help you a lot. Now, theta from the basic, look here, if you remember the theta, if you go back to here, I put sine 2 theta, and if you go back here, what theta, sine theta equal here, look, 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 x equal 3 fifths sine theta. That's what I'm going to go back. x equals 3 fifths sine theta in the side here to know what's going on. x equal a 3 fifths sine theta, right? If you solve for sine theta, guys, if you solve for sine theta here, equal 5x over what? 3 which is mean theta equal sine inverse 5x over 3, which is what I have here. Okay, and the 250, 125 minus, and also I have sine 2 theta equal 2 sine theta cosine theta. Now, that here, and now sine theta cosine theta, you can get them from the triangle. Sine theta equal what? 5x over 3. Right? And cosine theta equal, and the trick I gave it to you before, cosine theta equal 9 minus 25x squared over 3, uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, now we have all what we need here, and we, our limit from 0 to 0.6. Now 9 over 250, sine so inverse, start with 0.6. 5 times 0 0.6, if you use your calculator, you see the, you start with 0 0.6. 5 times 0 0.6 is 3, over 3 is 1, sine inverse is 1. 5 times 0 0.6 is 3, over 3 is 1. 9 minus 9 is 0. 25 out. 0 0.6 is square is 0 0.36 times 25. 0 0.36 times 25 is 9, 9 minus 9 is 0 then all this term turn to be what? Zero. Right? Nine minus nine is zero. And sine inverse, sine inverse of one is pi over two. Remember this. Now after this, we have to plug the zero. Sine inverse of zero. Look, I put here zero because Sine inverse 5 times 0 is 0, 5 inside, and 5 times 0 is 0, 0 times everything is 0. Then sine inverse of 0 is equal to 0. All this 0, all this what? All this is big 0. Good job. Okay. Now, then this cancel. We don't need any more this. 0. Left pi over 2 times 9, then 9 pi over 500. That, okay. Let us go and show you a shortcuts 
Sometimes you can use it for multiple choice problems for this. But as I told you before, I'm not explaining for specific type of student. Most of the teachers, they ask you to show the work for your problem. Most of the teachers, they ask to know how you did your trick substitution. They don't want the direct answer. But in case, in case for, if we have a multiple choice problem, what we can do? Let me see what I can do for this problem. We have three, look here, and I try to summarize it for you. Techniques of integration, right? Trigonometric substitution. The integral form is a squared plus, right? B squared. Let me just put it in the middle. Oh, that's perfect. Then you will have this form or this form. You will have this form or what? This form. Right? You will have one of these what? Four. Then I know my substitution will be x equal a over p. Look here, what's my a? What my A? A is 1, B is 2, square root of 2, square root of 2, right? Because, okay, then my substitution, X equal A over square root of 2 sine theta, now you have to draw your triangle here. Look here, sine from this guy. Sine theta equal what? Sine theta equal Sine theta equal, let me just put my triangle close to me, and here, sine theta from this guy, square root of 2x, sine theta equal square root of 2x. Sine theta, you can see this guys, square root of 4, 2x. And drawing a triangle will help me. I'm going to keep the triangle here. Theta, square root of 2x, square root of 2x, square root of 2x. Two x and here one and here I told you the trick. This one minus the same as that one. Now finish your problem. Integration dx equal one over square root of two cosine theta and this equal d theta. Then finish square root of one minus two and x integration, right? We need this. Integration of 1 minus 2. What we have here? x equal. If you do this, the square of that, I'm going to do it two step. 1 over 2 square root of 2. Two, the two is here, and 
Okay, x is x is what guys? One over two sine theta square. And dx is what? One over two square root two cosine theta d theta. Okay. Thank you. Good. Now, what we have to finish the problem. When you square this one, integration of 1 minus 2, right, times, when you square this, this becomes 2, these cancel with this, minus sine square theta, and uh, here 1 over square root 2, 1 over square root 2 1 over square root 2 cosine theta d theta now we know this guy equal cosine theta because 1 minus sine square on the side here 1 minus sine square theta equal cosine square Theta. We don't have to waste our time there, right? 1 minus sine square equal cosine square and square root of cosine theta. And here, 1 over the square root of 2. 1 over the square root of 2, we took it out, and we have here cosine theta. Cosine theta, d theta. Okay. Now, what we have here, integration of 1 over the square root of 2. Cosine square theta d theta. And this we did before. Cosine square theta equal what, guys? Cosine square theta equal half plus half cosine 2 theta. And then, okay. Now, this is half. Right? Integration of half, this half theta. Integration of half cosine 2 theta, half sine 2 theta over 2. Now, all what you need to bring the theta to its original. Theta equal what? Go back here. Theta. Go to the triangle I have. Theta equals sine from here. Sine theta equal what? Then theta equals sine inverse of square root of 2, right? Then 1 over 2. And I can take the half also out. Sine inverse square root of 2x. And sine 2 theta is what? 2 sine theta. Cosine what? Theta. 2 sine theta cosine theta over 4. Right? And here what? 2 times 2, 4. Which is now the okay, the final answer. 1 over 2 square root of 2 here. Sine inverse square root of 2 x. And sine theta is here. Sine theta is square root of 2 of x, right? Square root of 2 of x. And cosine theta, let me just do it, square root of 2 of x. And cosine theta, square root of 1 minus 2x squared over 1, plus c. And this is my final answer. Okay, good. Now let us go to this guy. Um, look here, this is... I put the similar, but uh, since we have it in the denominator, I can't tell you the sine inverse, the answer, the sine and from the beginning. 1 over square root of 2 of x plus c. This is my final answer. Look here. 1 
Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2. Let me just prove it for you, for one time. Then, when you have this form, not this form, when you have this form, I leave the 4 out. Don't forget the 4. Don't forget leave the 4, sine inverse, square root of 1 is 1 over square root of 2. Let me just, the same, we're going to do it, look here. We're going to use the same substitution, the same thing, the same thing. We're going to use, I meant to do that, uh, sine x equal 1. Then, I'm going to read to this here, integration. If you follow me, 4 square root of 1 minus, you see that, 2. I'm going to show you this step one more time. But I'm, I'm using the same exact what, trick substitution. The same exact trick substitution. You're going to end up here, 1, the 4 is 4, and here 1, 2. I'm going to take this step. 1 over the square root of 2 sine theta squared. And dx is what? 1 over the square root of 2. Right? Cosine what? Theta d theta. Okay. You see, I'm going to show you now, now that my answer is right. Now, but oh, that's good for only when, look here, what I'm doing here, what I'm doing here is good only when we have a numerator, uh, when this in the denominator. But when this in the numerator like that, you cannot apply this rule. Sine inverse, 1 over square root 2, x plus c, quickly. I'm proving it. How I'm proving it? You see these steps here? I'm using these steps. Okay, now here, 4 out, integrate, and this one cancel with this, right, square root of 2, then I'm going to add 4 square root of 2, okay, okay, 4 square root of 2, of 2, and 1 over cosine theta d theta, and this guy 1 minus sine square theta, 4 over square root of 2, right, which is AB, 4 times I'll have to put AB, 4 cosine theta, and 1 minus sine square theta, I just explained it for you here, I just explained it for you on the side of the word, 1 minus sine square equal cosine square, when you take the square root of cosine square, it becomes cosine theta. You see what I'm doing? If you take 1 minus sine square, will be cosine square, right? Square root of cosine square is cosine theta. D theta. And this cannot gonna be one. Okay, then four over square root of two d theta. Integration of square root of two. Four. Integration of d theta is what? Is theta plus c. Now then let me back here. Then over A over B, which is 4, we have to put here 4 A over B, which is whatever A over B, 1 over square root of 2, sine inverse, 1 over square root of 2 of X, A square root of 2 of X, I mean, yes, which is square root of 2, the same thing, okay. uh, X equal A over B, yes, 1 over square root of 2. For theta and my triangle here, right? And my sine theta equal what? My tricks. My x equal one over two, right? Square root of two of x, right? Sine inverse, right? Square root of two of x. Sine inverse. Square root of 2 of x. Sine over square root of 2 of x. Let me just erase this one. Then we can add our uh, row with our rows, right? I can use my pen. One second. Then 
por por right and side and verse right square to two place four over square to two a over b right one over square root of two sine inverse square root of two x plus z. Okay, which is what we got at the end here, right? Theta four over square root of two sine. This is square root of two a, right? And this is one, and this is one minus two x squared. Okay. Four side inverse square root of two x plus c. Okay, this most of the teacher prefer this way. Let us go more example. Look how I can do this. This I can split the this guy negative seven, right? A which is square root of five over b square root of three. Then a this is a square and this is b square right then a equals square root of 5 and b equals square root of 4, 3 right sine inverse sine inverse we have negative 7 leave it of square root of 3 for x okay let us prove it and leave this problem for you and i'll leave this for you then i'm going to prove this problem that I did. Okay, because this is easier for 2 and 16. Now, what's my x? a over b square, square to 5. Quickly, I'm going to do it because the time is running. Square to 5 over square to 3. Right? Sine x. Sign, right? Hey. Sign, hey. And from the theta equal, from the beginning, I'm going to put sine inverse square 3 x over square root 5. Okay, oh, this theta equal. Good? From the beginning, I'm going to get rid of this. And dx equal square root of 5, square root of 3, cosine theta, d theta. Okay. And then, just apply the numbers on the equation. And the work and my integral. Okay. Negative 7, you can take it out. Let me leave the space. Yeah. Negative 7, I can leave it integration of negative 7 integration of negative 7 over square root 3 minus theta, right, x equal uh, we have three, uh, already we have what? Uh, three, right? Five, I mean, five. Let me just take this guy. Five and three. Five, three, right? Square root of what? Five over square three. Sine, theta. Square. Okay. Three square root. Square root of four. Three. And dx equal square root of five. Square root of three. Dx right. Cosine theta. D theta. We can take all this constant out. Negative seven square root of five. Square root of three. Right? 